Hi everyone, this is Nia at Buffalo Modular Homes and today I want to introduce you to Nigel. Now Nigel, well you get this question a lot. Where is that accent from? People ask you this all the time. They and do. what do you say? California. <laughs> Which... And then they usually have a very confused look they do and then they say well actually that doesn't sound like california at which point i have to confess that it's not australia either but it's england it's england so um nigel is part of our team he's a very important part of our team here at buffalo modular homes and he's also my father-in-law so i'm a little bit partial but i like him a lot and we're so ha happy to have you here and all that you do for buffalo modular homes and for the people watching can you explain a little bit i know you have very important roles here um, but just share a little bit about what it is you do with BMH and um, where someone might um, be working with you. Part of the yeah, absolutely. Uh, my role really is predominantly on the construction side of, uh, of our home building uh, business. Uh, and that involves really uh, taking over the, the customer's uh, requirements after they've gone through the sales process and mm -hmm. they've signed the contract and then they're ready to move into the building phase and at that point uh, uh, the building team of which I'm a part uh, sort of takes over mm -hmm. we work directly with the customer and then start to schedule the build calendar which involves scheduling con yeah, contractors and timeline uh, with a view to uh, when the house comes from the factory to set mm -hmm. and then uh, after set date uh, all the follow-up uh, finishing work which again involves contractors and um, so it's really start uh, starting from uh, the, the sales handover to the handover of the house of the certificate of occupancy. Mm -hmm. And if you've ever seen his calendar, wow, there is a lot to manage, a lot that goes on. I'm running out of the... colors. <laughs> <laughs> I look at that and I start to get hives. There's so much going on there, um, but you do a great job. You're really great with customers. Um, but also one of the things that I wanted to highlight is that we have a very large family. And I was gonna ask what are the, one of the things that you enjoy doing outside of Buffalo Modular Homes? And I was just gonna share that, I mean, you have 16 grandkids. Are we up to 16 now? 16 grandchildren, four great-grandchildren. So that takes up a lot of your time yes. outside. Yeah. When you're not working, we're spending a lot of time with family. Family is really important to you mm -hmm. um, and, and your wife, Ellie. Um, and so we're so grateful for that. Not only the value that you bring to the business, but also your leadership and all that you do for our family as well. Well, I think from, from uh, my standpoint, and I know Ellie uh, appreciates this as well, part of having a family business is being able to uh, be really involved uh, with you and Jeremy and uh, and uh, uh, your children. Mm -hmm. um, and, and Rochelle as well. And Rochelle is part of the team as well. And uh, so it's sort of an opportunity to bridge home life and work life and, uh, and enjoy family uh, in both of those areas that traditionally are separate. Mm -hmm. uh, it can be challenging at times to well, separate it. <laughs> it. It can be, and of course, uh, it, one overlaps into the other so mm -hmm. that uh, home life uh, includes business and uh, business, but business includes uh, home life and family. So mm -hmm. uh, as you say, family is very important to, to me and children, uh, wonderful uh, uh, daughter-in-law sitting next to me and her husband, uh, Jeremy, and, uh, and uh, Ni little Nigel and Lena, uh, Nia's two children, mm -hmm. of course, are a big part of our lives because they're here locally. And then Rochelle, who works with us and her family, uh, not too, too far away. Mm -hmm. uh, we're involved with them. And, and then, you have a daughter uh, in Hawaii. We cover the globe. a place to visit. Hawaii, right? the UK. You have a daughter in England. Mm -hmm. You have a, another son in, in Canada, Canada as well. And mm -hmm. Rochelle, who works with us, is in Canada. And um, an adopted son and uh, daughter-in-law in South Korea. All uh, over. All over. So <laughs> It's pretty cool. <laughs> Well, um, so he's not originally from Buffalo. So having lived in Buffalo for a little while, you're obviously from England, then lived in California for a little bit, and then coming back uh, to Western New York. What's one of the things that you love about living here in Buffalo? Well, seeing that it was minus, uh, it was what, 20 degrees yesterday <laughs> and a foot of snow, it's the weather. I'm going to say it's the weather. Okay. Of course, we, we, we yearn for the, the winters and left California just to embrace winter again. But on a serious note, I think probably one of the 
key attractions of New York is that it's a wonderful area in terms of geography and um, uh, recreation, and uh, but the people are very, very friendly. Mm -hmm. And so it's sort of a great combination. We can One can have a great lifestyle mm -hmm. in this area. Uh, and it's not at uh, California prices, and mm -hmm. uh, and True. the people in Western New York are very friendly, hospitable. Mm -hmm. Did Just, it throw you off if somebody wants to give you a hug, being English? Well, can't can't take <laughs> hugs. No, no, can't take hugs. There is a limit, threshold. Uh, but uh, no, I've I've grown in that area. <laughs> Well, we're grateful for all that you do at Buffalo Modular Homes. And if you're new and you're just tuning in and you do decide to build a house with us, um, Nigel is a big part of the process here at BMH and what you'll experience. And we're a family company and, and we believe that uh, when we build for our customers that we want, it, we want to give them a family experience as Certainly well. Do. So thank you for taking this time. You're welcome. Thank and you for inviting me. All right, everyone. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.